Namaste everyone, I am Beanie from DEL48 and today I am going to show you how to make Indian Raita. Raita is basically South Asian dish but today I chose Indian Raita because it contains curd and curd is my personal favorite. You know why? Because number one, it's good for your skin. It keeps your skin hydrated. Number two, it's good for your immune system and your digestive system. And number three, it contains a lot of protein which is very good for your health. So what else do you need? So today I'll make two types of different Indian raitas. One is fruit raita and the other one is vegetable raita. So I'm gonna make fruit raita first. So yes, I'm excited. Let's go. Now for my fruit raita, I have all the ingredients prepared. I have curd, obviously, and then in fruits, I have banana, I have orange, I have apple, I have grapes, I have pomegranate. And if you look at the spices, I have Himalayan salt, I have black pepper, I have Indian chaat masala, which will enhance the taste of my raita, I have roasted cumin seeds, and then I have powdered sugar. And also, for garnishing, I have coriander leaf. Firstly, in fruit raita, I put some sugar in the curd. The amount of sugar depends on the amount of curd that you've taken. Here I use 2 teaspoons of sugar. Now we'll put all the fruits in the cup. And then we'll do mixing. Now I'll add some spices to my raita according to taste. And again, mix it. And it's ready. I'm finally done with fruit raita. Now I will make vegetable raita. Again for vegetable raita, firstly I have the filler of raita, curd, and then I have all the chopped vegetables, onion, tomato, cucumber, bundi, which is a crunchy in the tongue and it's very delicious. And then again for garnishing I have coriander. If you look at the spices, I have Himalayan salt, I have roasted cumin seeds, I have black pepper, and again in the chat masala, which will make my raita tastier. So let's make it. Again, it's very simple. Firstly, I'll put all the vegetables in the cup. Now do the mixing, mixing, mixing. Mix it properly. Now add some spices according to your taste. Again, mix it. And after mixing properly, it's almost ready. But aha, uh -huh, let's put some coriander leaves to enhance the look and taste of my vegetable raita. And it's ready. Both of my raitas are ready. Now I'm gonna taste them. I'll taste vegetable raita first. It's actually nice, it's spicy, the bundi is so tasty. Oh my god, I love myself. But I think I should also try fruit raita, right? then I'll decide which one is better. Honest is speaking, I'm not impartial, but fruit raita right? is so much better than veg raita. Right? It's nice, but. But yeah, fruit raita, how can I forget? So I have a story. I was in school and I was always into cooking, so I was like learning cooking. And then one day I decided to make fruit raita for all of my friends. And I was so in hurry that I put so much salt in the raita. It was so bad, but I couldn't taste it since I was in hurry. So I went to school. I myself invited all of my friends to taste it. And then they tasted it. Like legit six to eight people tasted my fruit raita. And after that, I went through all the humiliation because I was so overconfident that my raita would taste good, but it didn't. But anyways, I still like fruit raita and it's yummy. Wait for our debut because we are excited for DEL 48 debut and so should you. And this was me, Beanie from DEL 48 and this was my raitas. As I've already told you, it's very healthy, it's good for your immune system, your digestive system, it has protein and it's good for your skin. So you should also try making them till then. Bye bye, lots of love. Bye.